Hello and welcome to followelonmusk.com, the show that brings you the latest update about Elon Musk. Tesla released videos of its autopilot-powered emergency braking feature, helping to avoid running over unaware pedestrians. These videos were unveiled in a presentation by Tesla's head of AI and computer vision, Andre Karpathy, at the Scaled Machine Learning Conference. Karpathy stated that when the autopilot system is turned on, the car will maintain its designated lane and will maintain a certain distance from the car ahead of it as an initial safety measure. Mr. Karpathy then outlined some of the key functionalities of the autopilot system that enables emergency braking. Automatic emergency braking, which detects obstacles that the car may impact and applies the brakes accordingly. Front collision warning, which warns of impending collision with slower moving or stationary obstacles. Side collision warning, which warns of impending collision with obstacles alongside the car. Obstacle aware acceleration, which reduces acceleration when an obstacle is detected in front of the car while driving at low speed. Mr. Karpathy then demonstrated with live videos how these safety measures are implemented to avoid a collision with unaware pedestrians. In the system. Here we've produced a video that shows some of the under the hood predictions for <clears throat> the main camera that is facing forward on the car. And you see that we're detecting lanes, we're detecting stop sign over there, stop line, road markings, we're putting cuboids around cars, traffic lights, road edges and curbs, uh, even things like trash bins coming up over there. Uh, lines that make up the intersection. In a bit, there's lines that create parking spots. We have to have all these attributes for whether or not a line is for a parking spot or not, and things like that. The Tesla co-founder and CEO Elon Musk claimed in a tweet on Monday that the electric pickup truck, Cybertruck, can float for a while in response to a question about the forwarding capabilities. Musk didn't offer further details as to how and for how long it can float. The Cybertruck was unveiled by Elon Musk at the Tesla Design Studio in Los Angeles on November 21, 2019, and is expected to go into production in late 2021. It will be offered at a base price of $39,000 for a single motor setup and can go up to $69,000 for tri-motor setups. The latter setup should also provide more than 500 miles on a single charge. Moving on to SpaceX, it has teamed with NASA and chose May 27 as the date of resuming spaceflight missions from U.S. soil. Elon Musk tweeted on April 18 that missions will return to the Cape in six weeks. The mission, codenamed Demo-2, marks the first time NASA will launch astronauts into orbit from the United States after the latter shutting down its space shuttle program. Until that date, the United States has been relying on the Russian Soyuz spacecraft to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. Moreover, for the first time in the history of mankind, a private company, being SpaceX, will launch people into orbit. The timing for liftoff has been set for 2032 GMT from the landmark launch pad 39A, the same launch pad used for NASA's Apollo shuttle at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The scheduled mission will consist of a two-man crew, NASA astronaut Doug Harley and Bob Benkin on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that will support the Crew Dragon spacecraft and upon its completion, the two astronauts will return to Earth and will be retrieved by a SpaceX recovery ship. NASA initially commissioned SpaceX as its space taxi provider in 2014, awarding it a $2.6 billion funding to develop the Crew Dragon spacecraft before awarding it an additional $3.1 billion for the spacecraft development program. This is it for followelonmusk.com. I will see you next time.